joined by Don Fernandez with St. Phillips College. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us out here today. Now there are so many specialty programs offered here at St. Phillips and what we're seeing today is your diesel technologies program. Just walk us through this. All right, so our diesel technology program, we have uh, really kind of two programs together. One's for our, our construction degree equipment and one's for our light to heavy duty uh, truck equipment. We basically, we go through everything from bumper to bumper on the vehicle, uh, where whether it's brakes, heavy duty brake systems, engine, engine rebuilding to uh, engine diagnostics, just about every every aspect of the vehicle and same thing with our construction equipment. Now you have both uh, truck technology and diagnostic technology. Can you just talk me through both of those? So a lot of things, so like in our truck technology, for us, right, the trucks are getting more and more advanced as we're going on. Whether you got after treatment system, fuel systems, every uh, even steering systems, everything's being controlled by, by a computer on the vehicle. When we get into diagnostic technology, we actually have to have a, a, a scan tool or a computer, basically a scan tool, that will talk to those, to those ECMs, those computers on the vehicles. So it's very advanced technology that you're it, offering it, here. It is, and, and to understand how, how each computer talk to each other and uh, uh, for you know, making connections, sensors, every aspect of, of the vehicle, uh, actuators, fuel system. And again, the biggest thing with the trucks is, uh, is after treatment system. It gets in a lot more technical on how the vehicle uh, uh, filters out the, the pollutants, if you will. Can you just talk me through, if you're getting instruction here, what that looks like? Okay, so, Anybody can anybody can start the program. Um, and you don't have to be a, a technical savvy or work on anything. We have students that come that never picked up a wrench to students that have already been working in the field. So we kind of pride ourselves on being 50%, what we call 50% hands-on, 50% lecture. So the students are, are lectured. Um, and then after we lecture, we go over the equipment stuff, then they come out to the labs, they'll do a, a demonstration lab, or the instructor will do a demonstration lab, then the students will actually perform the labs, whether it's doing uh, brake service, whether it's doing steering and uh, steering alignments, that kind of thing, and, and plus get into troubleshooting. When it comes to students, a big thing that they're thinking about is job demand. Now this is a high demand job. Yeah, so right now, currently, everybody's looking for diesel techs. They're in abundance of needs. And one of the things too is, is even though the, the technology's changing, we're going to electric cars and that kind of thing, the infrastructure is just not there for our heavy equipment, our agricultural equipment, and our construction equipment. One of the things like that's been around since the 1930s is diesel over electric, like our, our locomotive trains. So there is a lot of that starting to happen where we put a diesel over, over electric drive, electric motor and electric drive vehicles. Now, if students, if they want to find more information, if they're interested in St. Phillips, where can they go? Uh, first place to go is to our website, which is uh, www.almo.edu backslash SPC. And that'll walk us through all the programs, not just the diesel program, but all the programs we have at Southwest Campus. Mm -hmm.